the very first pyro patch just hit Evo Cadi for a quick four to six hour playtest. And we're going straight into it. Just a quick caveat if you're not interested in spoilers or anything like that. Make sure to click out of this video because there will be a little bit of spoilers, okay? So just get straight into it. Um, there isn't much on the patch notes. They do, they do have a few known issues, which I'm not going to go through. But the feature that they've added here says they've added the pyro system. So this patch does not include Stanton. It's just strictly pyro and there's no jump point between the two. So this one is strictly pyro. Okay. Some of the detail they provided is that replication is not in this initial patch for Evo right now and quantum is locked to three planets at the moment it also says that uh pyro is not done nor is the ruin station and r and r is the soul gang that's controlling uh ruin station okay so they did reveal some extra details about salvaging and munching and what they have here is some new crate sizes for the filler stations they have one two 4, 8, and 16 SCU, and the amount of time it takes to fill them also reflect on the size, okay? In addition to this, they have a message for the filler station that says preparing to eject, and then select box size, and then they also have select cargo to eject, and then they also have select item to craft. They also have information on total internal storage, okay? So also when it comes to the salvage tractor beam, they have max volume, towing, tractor, and the dimensions, which is metered square. Moving on in regards to the pyro station with refueling, they have a few of them. Um, checkmate, obituary, starlight, service station, patch city, gas light, rod fields, and supplies, rat's nest, endgame dudley and daughter and megumi refueling and then they also have pyro planets and moons here it says uh, for pyro one it's described as orbiting very close to pyro's volatile star pyro one is high temperatures and atmospheric pressures so pyro two is called monox and the description says the coreless monox nickname for the toxic carbon monoxide it is part oxygen atmosphere bears the scars of old mining operation pyro 3 is called moon and it says this icy terrestrial world has a breathable atmosphere of nitrogen and oxygen and has been overrun by outlaws and for pyro 4 it says that the astronomers theorized that in the distant past Pyro 4 collided with a planet sized mass warping the landscape and knocking it into orbit of Pyro 5. That's interesting. Okay. Pyro 5 is the largest planet in the Pyro system. Pyro 5 has striking atmosphere and swirling with shades of green and yellow. And then they have, I believe these are the moons, Pyro 5A, which is called Ignis. It says this innermost moon of Pyro 5 is covered in deep canyons and dried riverbeds. No other signs of water remain on its desiccated surface. Pyro 5b is called Bactra. The thick and high pressure nitrogen methane atmosphere of this moon hides a dark and airy landscape. Pyro 5c is called a dirt. The crater ridden surface of Adur is, is interspersed with rocky hill and jagged mountains. Pyro 5D is called Pharaoh. Frequent earthquake rock Pharaoh causing spectacular waves in its breakish seas. Interesting. Pyro 5E is called Fugo. High amount of iron sulfide in Fugo's soil turns it a livid shade of yellow and black. Pyro 5F is called Ver. Ver is rich in carbon and a little else. Pyro 6 is called Terminus. This protoplanet suffers little damage from Pyro's distant star. Also here they found some details pertaining to the Pyro gang reputation. So it says citizens for Pyro and reputation area is Pyro and Stanton. 
in the description they have here is citizen for pyro is a concerned group of civilians who have taken it upon themselves to take the infamous outlaw system once once and for all what started as a small posse makes occasional foray into pyro to hunt down criminals has grown into a false resettlement plan working closely with the local resident the group provides protection and logistical support to the survivors who call pyro home that's interesting so this is most likely going to be those that are lawful that want to stay in pyro so this is going to be a faction that you may be interested in so their focus here says security and commodity services that's interesting they were founded in 2950 from lorville hurston and their leader is madge dash harford citizen for pyro headhunters is up next and their reputation area is in pyro and it says one of the oldest gangs in the pyro system the headhunters have earned themselves a reputation for being ruthless and respected unlike many outlaws when the headhunters strike a deal they're known for keeping their word especially if they promise to kill someone they're currently seeking to wrest control of ruin station away from xeno threat interesting their focus is going to be piracy and racketeering they were founded in the 27th century and their leader is Kima Bat Pharrell. Interesting. That's Headhunters for those that are interested. All right. So Rough and Ready is the next gang. And it says their area of reputation is Pyro Rest Stops. In a playoff of a popular rest and relax stations found throughout the UAE, this gang has established itself by running the largest fuel operation in while their prices may not be fair, you can at least count on them having fuel and services on offer. Individuals who cross them often find life in Pyro much harder than it already was. Their focus is refueling and black marketeering. They were founded in 2939 and their headquarters is Checkmate Station and their leader is the Garvis Brothers. Rough and ready all right so just to let you guys know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll see you guys on the next video